so what are graphic resources and what is the importance of graphic resources in education and how you as a teacher you can use those resources in your classroom uh, dr deepthi uh, your voice is slightly low if you could just raise it okay so uh, what are graphic resources graphic resources are basically a uh, visual representation of any object that can include a com combination of charts maps diagram photograph images drawings or paintings so whatever uh, images you can you download from the internet whatever photographs you click from your mobile phone or the cameras you can insert all those things into a single a resource that will be infographic and what is the importance of uh, graphic resources uh, visual uh, resources are much uh, better uh, the students can learn much better way through visual resources so it can enhance the uh, better like memory of the students better retention of the information so if you show any pictures or infographic to the students that will be more effective than the corresponding words and if you are showing the infographic to a student the students can extract the information of particular topic or the subject which you want to demonstrate and the conceptual development will be in an exciting way and the more complex information can be communicated effectively because you use minimum text like in a powerpoint presentation you use some specific keywords or the points in the same way in the infographic too you don't have to write any textual paragraph complete paragraph you give minimum textual information so that will be as a teacher is your capability to consolidate that particular uh, mega information into a precisely a sentence or a keyword form so that can complex information can be easily communicated uh, among the students and if you have uh, got any data form of uh, uh, any data representation you want to do that will infographics will help you to make that in a visually uh, attractive way that data presentation like in a pie graph or the bar graphs or the line graphs data can be presented and it can be embedded into the infographic and definitely it can add the valuable information and once you create your own infographic that will be much unique and a time saving it's a one time thought uh, like you uh, for your particular subject or the topic or sub topic if you create one graphic resource that will uh, can be used easily many a times and it can reach to the maximum of the masses if you post that graphic resource in your web page or in your online classroom or in the blog you have created or any lms you have created so any digital resource has a positive thing that once you have created on a timely basis you can update the information but that will be used again and again for your classroom so these are the some importance of graphic resources and these are some examples of graphic resources or you can infographics and surely you might have seen this kind of resources somewhere so in the on a left hand side you can see a creative commons infographic in which the small uh, cartoonistic and uh, small uh, objects or you can say icons have been given the table of table has been given showing what uh, type of license is that and the students can easily capture like this is the icon of this creative common license and i have these have got these many features so uh, this is the first type of infographic and on the another side you can say the uh, science infographic in which mapping ocean wells has been discussed told about like uh, how our ocean wells is depleting or how many habitat or the carbon content is present uh, below the surface of the earth and on the right uh, right uh, extreme right hand side you can see a data representation like invest in girls education in which a pictogram demonstration has been given like any kind of research data has been shown and you can say the images the uh, variation of the sizes in the images or the small objects can show you what type of data and is the single infographic can represent your whole research work or the data representation which you want to show to your students and it not only for the students even if you as a teacher you are doing any kind of a research that will help you to provide the data in the form of infographic and uh, you might have heard about the poster presentations in the seminar and conferences where you have to present your uh, data output as a infographic only or in a poster form so through this tool you can create that too
uh, infographics are basically graphic visual as i told visual representation of any information data or knowledge so you have got any kind of information you can embed into uh, a template or a digital uh, object you will uh, will be getting in the software or the online tool which i will be demonstrating i can put that information or data in that tool and it will automatically create much good attractive infographics and how to use uh, after creating that infographic how will you use in your classroom uh, like in your classroom when you start your topic before starting the topic you get to know about the previous knowledge which students have already uh, been aware of so you can start uh, use that infographic as a discussion starter or you can introduce as a topic or summarize your topic so that infographic can be used at any phase of your lesson while you are delivering uh, whether in the offline mode or the in the online mode and you can uh, ask your student to see and uh, just let them uh, ask them what you interpret from this infographic or the chart you are seeing so they will definitely come out of with the some uh, answers and you can start your lesson with that answers so it will be a attractive visual resource now uh, when you start creating infographic what of the things you have to uh, keep in mind so first of all start uh, like after this session also a uh, assignment will be given to create an infographic so after demonstrating the tool you first of all you have to think uh, of your subject the nature of your subject and select a topic and on that basis you have to select some template of the tool out of the tools which are tool in, in which i will be demonstrating so first select uh, which topic you have to uh, uh, take for creating the infographic on the basis of that topic you just uh, collect the uh, images or the photographs and keep it in the on in your computer uh, it will be good if you click your own photograph or images to uh, your mobile phones and then use it it will help you to get uh, free from the copyright issues because many a time create under creative commons license uh, as per your subject few images are available on internet so first of all it will be better if you use your own images or own uh, photograph for this creating this infographic so collect the first selected topic of the your subject then collect the photographs and images of your particular topic then you start creating your infographic and you have to think whether that topic uh, which which sub topics you have to introduce or put into your infographic so that it can give a comprehensive information to the students in one single infographic secondly the infographic that will be created should be appealing that means it should the color should be attractive the background you are selecting the photographs you are putting up into the infographic that should be appeal to the student then uh, then uh, later they will retain uh, help to retain the information in a much better way so it should be uh, the information should be much retainable or i can say the retention should be much more for that info also a infographic should contain a comprehensive information it should be appealing in the form of the attractive pictures or the images or the color combinations you are using and that infographic should help the students to retain the information in for a much longer time so these should be the features of your infographic which you will be creating now uh, there are some types of infographic not completely these are only only the type but uh, some major types which you can use in your uh, for your topics for every topic or every subject it can be used so i will directly show you some some examples on the left hand side these are the uh, this one are the uh, comparison infographic when you want to discuss about the topic in which the comparison the difference between the two topics has to be mentioned so in this infographic you can see the western and the asian culture differences has been shown Uh, through the small objects or the images and the uh, keywords have been used like how an individual how the anger management the bossing the uh, atmosphere of the work culture has been shown so these are the difference uh, between the two cultures and this is called a comparison infographic here you can see a timeline so this is a timeline infographic in which uh, the in the various stages in the various area what has happened this can be shown here and uh, later this is the uh, 
process infographic in which the process infographics uh, is shown in which the uh, simple uh, science in a, uh, science, every science topic there is a process almost uh, many topics are there so just a photosynthesis process this is a process infographic and uh, the next theme side you can say the database presentation or you can say whenever you want to show any geographical infographic in which you can use a map of any uh, our country or the across the world and you want to show any data what particular data has been like any kind of data on which uh, area or the geographic location it has been shown you can show the geographic infographic in the data representation form too so these are majorly broadly used infographic the top uh, timeline process geographic or the comparison infographic now <clears throat> To create the infographic, there are many tools available, but we have selected a, a one online tool that is named as EZD, and it is spelled as E A S E double L Y. So whenever you search on internet, just type double L Y dot L Y, basically E A S E L dot L Y. This is a, a online tool which will work only in through internet. So easily is an online tool to create infographic, and whenever you have a good internet connection. you can use this tool uh, use especially on the desktop or the laptop only because in mobile interface it will be not be convenient to create the infographic so i uh, just prefer to use this online tool on the computer or the or laptops so it will work on the online mode and uh, first of all before starting it you have to create an account and start then the feature is that this infographic whichever is created in this tool can be saved on your uh, dashboard dashboard is a place online digital space you can say where in your account that infographic is automatically saved so later for later use also you can download this infographic and use it as a jpeg form image form in this infographic tool you can upload your clicked images you can add the youtube videos url to show some videos to and even if you want to create an infographic in different language if you uh, know about the typing of the different language you can type it also and if you don't know the typing you can uh, just uh, get the uh, text copy paste it from somewhere else in the unicode form it will be uh, get into the infographic also so you can not only create the infographic in english you can create in different languages too so these are some specific features of uh, easily tool and the other uh, tools which are available online or are online tools that are canva vanage picto chart wisme infograph visualize me these are some other online tools through which you can also create infographic now uh, first of all i will show you some screenshot of the tool then later we will go to live on uh, the live tool uh, so first of all the easily home page will be looked like this and uh, you have to create the account first step is to create the account while creating account there are two option in every online tool or every digital tool you are using nowadays first is to log in through the by creating your email id and creating your new password and another way of login is to through facebook or your google account uh, if you use these two option that will be helpful because it will be associated with your account and you will not be needing uh, need to uh, remember the password of your account easily account or any digital tool you are using whenever you log in you use log in to gmail or log in to facebook it will help you uh, just to not remember every time you use the tool your it will be uh, you have to just log in into gmail account excuse yes. me ma'am yes sorry to interrupt but uh, one of the participant is requesting you to explain it a bit slowly Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So first step is to log in into uh, creating your own account. So you have to type easily e a s c l y. Uh, then you have to click on to uh, associate with the Facebook or the Gmail account. Then after opening the account, uh, log in into your account. There will be a dashboard, a place where I have told you uh, your infographic will be saved. so in starting if you are a code uh, opening your account for the first time then only these two folders are visible these my design space will be blank 
and later on whenever you are creating the infographic so uh, every time it will be saved on your dashboard so anytime you can use that particular infographic for your future use then uh, after when you have to start to create the infographic you have to go to template and you there are ready made templates available as per your category you can select the category on the basis of your topic nature of the topic nature of the subject and the comparison timeline geographic i have told you there are many other categories too so you have to select the template among these and you start with the uh, creating the infographic when you open the template the toolbar or the editing space will be coming on the uh, system that is left hand side is the complete toolbar through which you can edit the complete infographic so all the templates are editable and whenever you click on to somewhere in any place on the infographic or the template it it can be edited so it can be edited using the tools on the left hand side and these are the different tools i will directly now come to uh, the online tool and will demonstrate side by side so i am escaping my presentation and i am coming to the directly to the home page so i have typed uh, easily on the url space or the or if you type into the google just type e a s e l dot l y this will be the home page will be coming and you have to get to create your free account so uh, when you create your free account paid accounts are also available but we are preferring the free account so you have to sign up firstly with the easily account so i have told you there are two ways to sign up just prefer your gmail account uh, before clicking to google this uh, just on the side tab you open your gmail account that is uh, your particular gmail account which you are using just open it on the side tab another tab and then click to google then it will ask which uh, like if you have got multiple accounts or a single account whatever so you just select your account it will ask already logged in under another tab first time it will be asking your password of the google account don't hesitate to enter because it will be saved. it will not be like uh, uh, saved in the easily account the password is safe so you just enter one time the password i have already logged in into this account so it is not asking me to enter my password so now this is the space which is my personal space in my account these are the folders option these are the my designs already which i have created in uh, uh, so any many times earlier so uh, on the left hand side you can find out the dashboard the template and the trash you will click to templates and here are the templates which can be edited which are provided on the uh, tool and here are the different categories you can select the category as per your requirement just remember <coughs> uh, you can see at the lower part the crown option mentioned crown means this one on okay so this crown indicates that these are the paid templates so if you will not be able to edit these templates so select those templates only which are free and free that means having no crowns above on the right, uh, top right hand side so like these are the free templates available and you select any of the template if you want to you are having doubt of like this template is good one you can preview them by clicking on preview if you are liking this template you can directly click to edit graphic and depending on your internet connection this will take a time to load and edit every time so you can close this option if, uh, wherever it is asking for get easily pro that means they are asking for the uh, membership or the paid account you just close it now you can see this is the template which is provided by the tool and 
before starting you can see there is above <coughs> options on the top there are some options coming and left as a toolbar so starting with the sizing of your infographic you have to resize it if you wish like in normal by default a4 size is available if you want to convert into portrait or the landscape the orientation art can be changed the sizing can be changed and you can customize your size too if you don't want to change you can leave it as such another option is download we will use it later next one is the save whatever changes you are making in your infographic that will be automatically saved to um, uh, if your internet connection is good it will be automatically saved but for the safer end you can click it on some timely basis then here is the option of your title of the infography by default it's given as geek you can rename rename your title of the infographic whatever you want to create so i have just named it trees okay these are the undo and redo button and these are the preview and sharing button later we will be showing what is the use of these button now if i come to my infographic and i'm just clicking on my infographic anywhere you can click you will see a blue box is appearing a thin border of the blue box that means these parts are editable so wherever you are clicking to uh, the place of the infographic you can see a blue box is coming that means this can be editable suppose i am clicking on the title and i can double i have to double click on the this blue box and yeah i can edit these by just typing it my topic trees versus i'm just typing again i'm randomly typing i'm not showing a specific topic i can see trees versus plants i can you can see if you want to increase uh, now this is the text box appeared and i have typed the text you can see here i have just selected it and going the above on the top there is another toolbar appearing whenever i am editing any of the thing the above toolbar is appearing that will provide you much more features to edit that particular tool particular uh, text or the images here you can see as this is a text box so the font is different font is coming font sizes are coming the font colors i can change to so if i want to get like it i have to just select the text and i can change the color and of the text too and here the bold italics underline the spacing and the alignment these are all like the uh, word options so while clicking any text box or any of the object the above toolbar appears and it will you show the more options for this uh, editing uh, options here on the right hand side you can see the position lock opacity a uh, lock means to fix the position of any particular text box or the image or you have can fix the position and it will not be moved by anybody else or by you even if you want to if you have to lock this position to fix this position of the text box if you want to change the opacity if you want to label or the tag this object you can tag to suppose just write tag it will be tagged with the name if you want to uh, add some url or some extra information which is required to read by read by the students you can go to any of the videos or the audio part suppose these are the youtube video url so if you have want to add some extra information through a video i can copy the youtube video url or any any of the url or any blog information any website information so you just copy the url and <coughs> just go to this uh, text box and you can get the option of link so just click it and you will get the space to paste the url you just place it paste it and apply so here is the extra information which you can provide through your infographic only uh, by adding any extra url or extra information by clicking on the link and you can make a copy of this plants word or any object you can delete it any time which you want so this is the extra editing toolbar which appeared on the top while you are editing on the in the infographic so uh, these are the options how to edit the text already existing text in the infographic 
Now we come into the left toolbar. Left toolbar first option is the graphics option. I can see the different icon. Icon are the small objects or the images. If I click this one, it will appear into my infographic here. You can just resize it, small or big, whatever wish. You can again fix the position, target, copy any, add the URL of this in, uh, to this object, your infographic, small object. So first options are icons, which can be selected as per the categories given in this. You can see any category if you wish. Suppose you want a car, a car will appear. So as per the nature of, again, your topic, you have to select the different categories and you can get the various small images. Again, they, they will ask many times to upgrade. Upgrade means to get a pro or the paid account. You don't need to select. A free images are very much. You can select these images. But first one is the icons. Second ones are the photographs, which again have a lot of gallery provided in the tool. Suppose if you want to get any accounting thing, you can get the account photograph. In the same way, small, small animations is being provided as per the category. Again, you can select any of the animation and small GIF images, GIFs, you can say. Now, uh, besides these icon photos and animations, which is being provided by the soft, by the tool, uh, according to their categories, if you want to upload your own images, that will be much beneficial. You just go to graphic, go to upload, browse your computer. Browsing means you have to select the image of your computer. Uh, from your computer, you go to the particular folder. Suppose you have just select this image and you just open it. So it will be loading and it will be coming here. You can see your clicked images will appear here and it will be saved in your again account. So earlier I have whatever I have uploaded from my computer is already saved in my account. So you need not to upload again and again every time the new every time the same image. Already the image gallery is available. If you want to use this again, you can click it. The image will appear here also. So I'm just deleting it. Just, just pressing the delete button on my system. And next one is to create a line. If I want to make a connection between the two concepts or the two images, I can create a line, the different types of line, the arrowhead or the curved or the simple line. And again, you can see by selecting the line, you can see the different type of line patterns will appear. The width of the line can be changed. The color of the line can be changed and other tools, the same tool. So these, uh, this is the way you can make a connection between the two topics or the two images. So under graphics, there are five options. Icon, photos, or animations are already provided in the gallery of the tool. You, if you want to upload the images of your own, you can go to upload. And to your computer, you can upload the images. Now coming on to this text. Second is text. Like here already many text is available, text boxes are available. So you can click and edit that. But if by mistake, this text box is deleted. Okay, or if you want to create another text box, write any text somewhere else in a blank space like here. Go to the text, you just select type of text as a header, as a body or in a bullet point. You just click it, it will appear here. Anywhere, you just drag and move it anywhere you want and double click it and you can edit it, edit it. Whatever you want to write, you can edit it. Suppose one, two, three. Now, how many points you want to write, you can write it for anything. So these are the way to put a text box in your infographic. Now, as this by default, this infographic has given a color, some specific color, but if you want to change the background color, you can change it this way. You can select the template, uh, palette color palette will also appear. If you want to get the textured uh, background, you can get the textured background. So these are the ways to just change the background. Now, if you are not satisfied with the color palette and the texture background, you can go to upload. And again, you to go to browse the com uh, browsing computer. Uh, and you can just upload a background, any background uh, tech, uh, image you want. Suppose I don't have a good image right now, but if you want to have any particular background image, just clicking it randomly, let's see. So it will be changed, but it's not uh, the background image is changed, but it's not uh, the uh, like uh, not uh, soothing the uh, 
topic or the template but how i can undo it undo control z or you can undo it from here too now if you are not satisfied with the template you can again go to category and change the templates also uh now if you want to add another page it into this infographic here at the bottom of the infographic you know find out the option add new page you just click it another plain another blank page uh, will appear like here is the first page and here is the second page now if you want to add some charts in your infographic there are two types of chart bar or line graph or the pictogram so if i am clicking on to bar graph by default a bar graph will appear here and you can edit this bar graph by clicking into edit clicking on the edit option it will ask you like whatever value you want to change whatever color you want to change in your uh, graph if you want to create the graph as per your data you can import your data by the uh, in through the excel file which will be saved in your system and that graph will automatically appear and for the further option you can go to this font size and the bar color and labels and legend whichever like you must have uh, you might have known about the know about the excel setting so whatever excel data you have entered into your excel sheet that can be imported and the graph will be automatically changed as per your requirement and will come appear here by clicking on to charts and the bar line and the graphic is here if you want to present your data through the pictogram form you can also do that by clicking it uh, the pictogram and selecting the nature of the pictogram if you want to show suppose i want to show any animal option here is a teddy bear is coming so here is the pictogram appeared and if i want to change the number of rows and columns i can change that and i want to change the color fill option so i can change the color fill options too by adding my percentages here so i can uh, just show my data representation in the pictogram form so there are the two ways of picto uh, data representation the bar line graph and the pictogram and the last option is to add the videos the videos uh, cannot be uploaded in this infographic so one question is asked in the earlier sessions like if i want to upload my video in the infographic how can i do that for that you have to upload your video on your youtube channel or your youtube account or any particular uh, website or the blog then that url can be copied and you can enter that url by clicking on the link that is another way that is the way if you want to upload your video other otherwise you have to click, uh, add the youtube url again i will go to youtube and sell copy the url and i will just enter it here paste it here the video will appear here don't select the video have uh, which is have a much uh, bigger size or the small videos can be uploaded it will be beneficial because this tool is an online tool and every video uploading will take space and time and internet connection too so this video is here i will just select this and it will appear on my infographic you will just find out after depending on interconnection a play icon will be appeared on your infographic and you can play the infographic play the video uh, it is taking time it will upload whenever it will upload i will show you it is getting uploaded basically i have just selected it it will upload here and you can play directly clicking on the play icon play icon you can play the video too so these are the some uh, major toolbars through which you can edit any of the information on the provided template whether it's a object small images your images videos here see here video is here just playing you can place the video anywhere right now the video has appeared here this again because of internet connection it is it will take time to play i hope you can see the play icon already i have clicked the play icon it is for uh, to play within a few while so uh, these are the you can create the multiple pages here and after editing uh, according to your topic you can at last uh, for safety you can click on the save otherwise automatically it is saving 
uh, on the timely manner. But if you want to save it for, for the safety and you can save it. Where it is saved, it is saved in your dashboard. Right? So uh, create after creating, if you want to get the downloaded version of you, if you want to download it in your computer system, what you can do, you can click on download. And for, uh, only the first option is free option, the low quality version, other are the paid option. So you have to download it in the low quality version and it will export and download into your system after depending on how many infographic pages you have created, what are the objects or the size of the infographic, it will take time to generate your infographic and download. So here the saving option is there. So it will be saved in your system. So here is your infographic created. Now this is the JPEG format and you can use this uh, uh, infographic for uploading in anywhere you wish. Uh, you can share anywhere you wish. So, and another way to, to share the uh, infographic among your colleagues, friends and students, first sharing option is very beneficial. That is invite a friend to edit. That will help you a collaborative effort to uh, create a single infographic. If, to or more colleagues, if you want uh, your students to create an infographic for a particular topic, you can give this as an assignment work to your students and they can create a single infographic. So you can collaboratively work on a single infographic. First way of sharing is that. Second is uh, sharing by email. You can uh, share the, uh, the shareable link. So whenever you are sharing with other people, you just copy this URL and then share. Don't copy this URL. Okay, uh, you will have to copy this URL and you can share in the WhatsApp group or the uh, wherever you wish. And uh, another options of sharing are to embedding the code or the browser option and the social media options are there. You can share in that form too. If you want to get uh, just uh, see the preview, you can see the preview. And at last, uh, this infographic is ready and downloaded. Then if you want to see where this infographic has been saved, in your dashboard, you can just go back and you can see the first infographic here, which, have, which you, we have just created uh, is saved here. So for a later also, if you want to edit it, you can go edit it. You can want to replicate a copy. You will add to in a folder here. As per your topics, you can create a folder name. You can download it from here. I can delete it. Now, uh, I've been using this tool from past many years, so I think uh, uh, this uh, space issue is not here till now. Like I have created whatever infographic, they are already existing in the dashboard and I can manage in the different folders too. So if I want to further edit, I can come back to edit and my infographic created will be appearing and I can further edit it. <clears throat> I'm just looking whether my video is now. It will be played, it will be good to show you. Uh, again, depending on internet, otherwise it will play here. Just remember one thing, these uh, interactivity of playing the video will not be uh, wor will working in the download version of JPEG. So whatever, in any interactive, any tool which you are using to create any uh, resources, the interactivity element always works whenever it is in the online form, otherwise it will not work. So you need an internet connection, good internet connection to create the infographic. Uh, I think all the things have been completed. So you start creating your, first of all, you have to select the topic and you go to template and as per your topic, uh, you select the category and select the template and start creating the infographic. I've shown you, demonstrated all the things and whatever the question will come, we will answer that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Deepti. Uh, uh, the uh, two people, uh, two participants are uh, asking about um, explain video uploading once again. So, if you could just demonstrate that part once again. Okay. Uh, I've already told video cannot be uploaded in the infographic, your own video. That, first of all, you can add the video URL. So, you have to go to videos. You have to just uh, select the video URL which for you want to 
add in your infographic you have to just open that video url suppose i have opened the youtube and i have just uh, selected the url yeah. copied it and coming back to my infographic i will just paste it here after pasting the url the video will be loading here and after it is loaded i have to just click on this select option it will come on my infographic like up here it is appearing here so you can play it here and uh, if you want your video to be uploaded then you have to upload that particular video somewhere on the internet like either on some website on blog or on your youtube channel then that url can be copied and what you do that if that particular video is related to a specific topic you just click on that uh, text box or the small object or image like i have clicked this image i will go to this above toolbar click on link and paste the that particular url and apply so whenever student are viewing this infographic will you will be sharing through your url this video can be played by clicking on this url then that video can be played so if you want to upload your own video then you have to upload it on internet anywhere in any space or internet then you can add the url but already uploaded videos can be seen or added only through youtube url or matlab already uploaded you can be used anywhere like you if already uploaded or shown somewhere Uh, one more question please give details about gif format and animated graphics format i'm not able to understand the complete question but i'm telling you either here the small animations in the form of gif has been given in the gallery so you can use that as per the category the topic you want to show so already animations are given the small like so you can see the much there's no no like few second or uh, like this is in so graphic if this animation is used here so just a gif of form is just small animation is coming so you cannot uh, add you uh, have create your own animations here you have to just select whatever is given in under the graphic section and the anim animation section there is one question all pictures are creative commons as this online tool is providing you the free uh, facility uh, uh, using the the free version is providing you to use all the jo whatever in the free account is available so there will be no copyright issue if you download or use any of the objects under these uh, sections fine so you can download it and use it anywhere so there will be no copyright issue but you prefer uh as this objects cannot fulfill your requirement of your topics or your subjects so whatever you you have to uh, prefer uploading your own images or own videos and uh, create the infographics you can start up with the blank template too you can create take a like a blank camp uh, you can say na blank uh, canvas you take you can just select a create a blank template and then you can start to so i will just like to add it there is a difference between free and open source or creative commons which we discussed yesterday so this is a free platform and a limited number or a number of things are only free not the whole aspect so you can definitely whatever is free you can use it but whatever is paid then that is completely uh, copyrighted or they are not allowing you to use without the particular payment which we have to do for safe use uh there is one more question can we add video link taken from our drive i haven't uh, tested it and that's a good question i can see if i see like suppose anything i am just checking out uh, suppose uh, this is my url i think it will work but you have to give the open access to of that drive uh yes. otherwise it will not get be not be played or opened up na suppose if i have copied my this drive and apply definitely the link will work but you have to take care 
the Google Drive, anything on document or the video or anything, whatever document you are adding the URL, that should have open access. You, I hope you understand the open access. You have to give the editing rights to all. Otherwise, it will uh, not be uh, seen or like here is the restricted option is coming. So you have to change the link settings before adding it here. Otherwise, it will not work or it will not be opened up by the user or by the student, whatever you are sharing. The link in any form can be added. You have added the Google Drive link and the link is appearing here. Link is open. I have to just further open it and I have to give up the open access to for the other speakers. There's one more question by Sheetal ma'am. Sheetal ma'am has also raised the hand. I'm taking up your question. Uh, she's saying we are adding page. When we are adding the page, the template is not continued. Uh, in, yes, in the next page, the plain uh, background will appear, not the template. So template you can choose for that page also, right? No, there are different templates cannot be choose particularly like suppose this is the template the whole document will have the same background so if i want to change the template of the second one i cannot be specified for this specific like suppose i'm selecting this one and if i choose any new template the whole uh, all the pages of this particular template but what you can do if you i think see if I, I have to replace the template so i cannot use the different templates in the same infographic so basically the background will remain same. The template is basically about adding your own content. So on that page, you cannot uh, change the template. Uh, you cannot uh, make any new template for that. Yes. Background will be same, the color or the texture background. Otherwise you have to start with a blank template in, a, add, in any new edit pages. So can we add the same template in the second page? You have to select all the things and just copy paste them. Okay. You have to rearrange, like if I want to get it, I have to select all the objects as a, just by pressing the control key and I have to select all and just make a copy and just paste it in the another one, second template. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Deepti for uh, this elaborated uh, presentation and taking all the queries uh, regarding uploading of videos and uh, other. Uh, thank you uh, so much. Now uh, we will be moving towards the next part of the session, which is on concept mapping. Before getting into that, I would like to say that an, uh, attendance has been posted in the chat box. All of you are requested to please mark the attendance. Uh, don't miss it. It will be closed by the end of this session, which is at 11.30 or 11.15, whenever we are 11.30 approximately, it will be closed. So before that, please mark your attendance. Uh, for the next session, we have with us Dr. Gulshan Mufid. She's Senior Academic Consultant in CIT. And uh, she will be taking us through the understanding of concept maps. And also she will be demonstrating what a concept map is and how we can uh, develop a concept map. So for this session, uh, okay. Uh, Gulshan ma'am, please write to the host. Please give rights to Gulshan ma'am. Okay, you've been given the rights. Deepak Thank sir, you, if, yeah, uh, Deepak sir, agar koi sawal, if you have any question, you can post it in the chat box. I'll answer it there only. Uh, so now I welcome uh, Dr. Gulshan and the session is all yours ma'am. Thank you so much, Monica, ma'am, and Deepti, ma'am, for a very nice presentation. So, uh, after Deepti, ma'am's presentation, in which uh, she explained about uh, infographics and the Easily software, uh, we are going towards another concept mapping tool. Uh, we call it VIEW, Virtual Understanding Environment, or we can say Visual Understanding Environment. So, just allow me to share my screen first. Ma'am, you are co-host. Thank you. You can say. <laughs> oh. 
let's start uh, we will uh, discuss about uh, creating the concept maps while using uh, another application uh, uh, which name uh, we, which we call view or visual understanding environment so let's start to, with the meaning of concept uh, i know you all are teachers here uh, participating in in this uh, srg so you must be knowing uh, the meaning of concept so it is a very basic question for you uh, if i ask you what do you understand by concept what is concept according to you so what will you say you just you can write your answers in the chat box only already i have shown the answer in my slide So concepts can be defined as the abstract ideas or general notions which occurs in our mind uh, in the speech or in our thoughts they are basically understood as a fun fundamental building blocks ideas and beliefs and thoughts i have given some concepts some examples of concept in my presentation such as bravery dance forms happiness money time values truth etc these are the concepts which you need to teach your uh, children your students uh, while you are teaching in your class but these are not the physical things you have to explain these things these concepts to your students with the help of examples or uh, some other things you can teach you can uh, teach them some uh, stories through which they can understand the concept of bravery or you can uh, uh, you can uh, share some examples of happiness with them so that they can better understand what is the meaning of happiness what is money money is uh, if you want to under, uh, make them understand the concept of money uh, you can uh, teach them uh, the addition and subtraction of numbers and then you can convert that addition and sub, uh, subtraction in the concept of money and you can teach these concept uh, with the help of uh, concept maps and with the help of examples etc so uh, basically uh, concepts are the only the abstract ideas or the general notions
next one is system map the system map better explains the uh, workflow of any system now here uh, we are discussing the concept maps so one question arises here that what is the difference between the mind maps and concept map because these two words sounds very similar so i have put uh, one example here uh, the concept uh, the mind maps question ma'am question ma'am sorry to interrupt there was no audio for the last 5 minutes could you please uh, go back to the previous slides and uh, then maybe give them a walk through i think the participants have raised it in the chat box okay i haven't seen that so yes, i was not audible no ma'am you were on mute so from my side i can see that i am uh, not on mute i am yes ma'am now it now it's finally audible but for around 5 minutes you were not audible so can can you okay. i start from here where i missed let's start from here carry on from here yes so i have discussed uh, the meaning of concept what uh, is the meaning of concept and uh, we were discussing the uh, meaning of concept map uh, uh, sorry i was not audible uh, previously uh, but i will repeat that concept map so it begins uh, with the central idea or it begins with the main idea which is uh, the main idea is connected to the sub concept to the sub idea and these uh, main concept and sub concept are connected with the the connecting lines which shows the relationship between different ideas by breaking the main idea down into specific themes uh, i have uh, also shown one example here in my slide that uh, if we are going to teach our students about the climatic changes we can better explain them the causes of climatic changes and how can we resolve or how can we solve this the problem of climatic change uh, and uh, you can see that we have connected these sub concepts with the main concept which is climate change and we are showing here the causes the solution and the evidences of climatic changes so in this manner we can teach we can uh, explain any difficult concept to the students by breaking that main concept into sub concepts so that they can easily understand so uh, we have also discussed the components of uh, concept maps there are two main components of concept maps uh, which is uh, the first one is concept which can be shown uh, in the form of nodes and these nodes can be drawn um, as circles as ovals as boxes etc there are many shapes uh, available in the app uh, which uh, i am going to show you and these concepts can be connected through the linking lines uh, which are also called cross links these can be in the shape of arrows and these arrows shows the relationship between the main concept and the sub concept here i have uh, uh, i am i have tried to show how a concept map can be drawn uh, so it is the central idea which is connected to the sub concepts to the linking lines which are uh, in the form of arrow so uh, the type of concept map there are many type of concept maps it can be in the form of uh, spider shape uh, it can be uh, a flow chart which shows the flow of concept and it can be uh, a hierarchy map it can be a system map in the hierarchy map we can show uh the roles and responsibilities of an organization uh, if uh, we want to teach them or we can show uh, the hierarchy of top level middle level and low level and in the system map we can show the functioning of uh, any organization uh, here i have uh, uh, what i have uh, i'm trying i have tried to uh, show you in this uh, slide so uh, concept map can be uh, of different types so we were here actually uh, there is a very common question uh, which can be asked that what is the difference between mind map and concept maps so i have uh, shown here mind map and concept map both uh, in this slide 
so a uh, mind map there is a, a very minute difference between mind map and concept map mind maps are in the radial structure uh, radial structure means these uh, can be shown uh, with lines connected with a central idea but concept map it has a tree structure with many branches as you can see in this picture the second picture where concept map is explained uh, it it has you can see a central idea which is connected uh, with the sub ideas uh, and with the branches uh, these arrows we can uh, call them branches also and these lines these uh, branches shows the relationship with the multiple concepts so with the help of concept map you can teach multiple concepts in your class and uh, in mind map you are teaching only one concept to your class so this is the very minute difference so uh, i uh, have shared some online concept mapping tools with you uh, these are bubble.us poplet mind map creately kogal lucid chart mind mister mind domo spider stripe these are some online concept mapping tools which you can use uh, further use in your teaching learning process and there are also some free and open source concept mapping tools these are free mind ed draw mind map dossier view free plane kogal x mind wise mapping mind for two 3d topic scape now let's discuss the use of concept ma mapping what is the use of concept mapping by use uh, by using concept mapping techniques the learner is not all, only passive but also an active learner uh, so <clears throat> how <clears throat> the learner can be active <clears throat> if you include uh, your students in creating the mind maps you can use their ideas also uh, for creating any uh, concept map or for uh, teaching them any difficult concept so if you are including their ideas their knowledge their vision in your concept map in uh, teaching of any difficult concept there uh, we can say that the learners are active in the classroom and they are active in the teaching learning process while in the uh, traditional uh, teaching process the act, uh, the learner is all, always passive which we should not encourage and we should make our learners the active learners and <clears throat> the second use it uh, of concept mapping is that it constructs the learned ideas and information and meaningfully able to relate the learned concept and uh, if you use concept mapping in your classroom the students will be able to organize and present their knowledge on any topic and uh, also the student can learn with better vision uh, it helps them to see the bigger picture how the bigger picture if you uh, suppose uh, i have given the example of a climatic change in my previous slide uh, you are explaining the uh, climatic change to them with many examples with multiple examples and multiple sub concepts it will definitely uh, help them to understand that concepts and it gives the bigger picture to the students in this slide i have uh, shown you the comparison uh, of different mind mapping tools in terms of platform its use and its import and export files so uh, i am not going to read this slide you can see it and if you wish you can click the picture of this slide also so here is here is a comparison of different tools so draw mind domo free mind mind manager lucid chart bubble.us mind map kogal x mind eight mind genius creately now let's start with the view the visual understanding environment or you can say virtual understanding environment it is an open source project developed by academic technology group 
at Tufts University. Why I have written this line here? Because when you are going to download this application in your PC or in your laptops, you have to check whether this software is from Tufts University or some other. You might face the problem of downloading this application in your uh, system. You have to check uh, that it should be from the Tufts University. Uh, view provides feature to create mind map. We have already discussed and charts easily format and interpret IT, uh, items, use layers, and analyze charts in multiple formats. Visual understanding environment is an application for concept and content mapping for students, academicians, CEOs, managers, and writers that provide a simple yet powerful tool. Virtual understanding environment can be used to organize digital content in a non-linear way, way. This already we have discussed that uh, we can organize all the knowledge, all the content, uh, whether it is uh, uh, digital or non-digital in a non-linear way. Because it is in the shape of a tree, it is in the uh, shape of, uh, uh, it has multiple branches. That's why we are calling it that it is in a non-linear way. Uh, so digital content can be accessed through the web with the help of view resource panel. There are many features uh, in this application, which uh, we are going to discuss in our demonstration part. So uh, here in this slide, I have shown you what are the features uh, I, have, I have tried to share you the features of view. Uh, and it also helps students to develop the higher order thinking skills, in, uh, including analytical skills. Concept maps can be used by students to organize their knowledge, which uh, this we have discussed. Features of view. What are the main features of view? Uh, virtual understanding environment. It allows presenter to create annotated trails through their maps. Uh, this uh, uh, I have already discussed that uh, because concept maps are not in a linear form or, in, or are not in a radial form. It has a tree-like structure. It has many branches. So we can say that it has annotated trails and we can create additional, uh, we can add or create additional uh, trails in the concept map if we are creating it through view. And the pathway feature, it is another feature of view. The pathway feature also provides a slide view of information into the map. You can uh, create many slides if uh, of your map while creating a concept map in view. Slide mode lets the presenter toggle between map view and slide view while focusing on the content. Uh, content. As you uh, create many slides in your PowerPoint presentation, you can also create uh, many slides in view also. And uh, you can toggle between these slides. A view can be used by anyone interested in uh, visual structuring or digital content, a visual structuring of digital content. So this is the first screen. If you wish to download view uh, in your laptops, you can, uh, you have to choose the Windows version if you, uh, you are using the Windows operating system in your um, uh, PCs. So you have to click the download button, uh, first select the Windows option and then click on download button. These are only the screenshots. I will show you uh, how you can download a view in your laptops only. So uh, if you click the download button, then uh, it will ask that you want to download it for Windows, for Mac. Normally, uh, we use Windows operating system. Uh, system uh, so we will select the second option, download view for Windows. And when you click that option, uh, a dialog box will occur. It will appear on your screen and it will ask you if you want to run the application or if you want to cancel. So if you want to download, then you have to click on run button. Then the setup started, set, setup will start installing in your PC like that. And 
when it is downloaded in your laptops in your system a blank screen appears in front of you which is which you can say the empty map it is shown as empty map where it is a field it is an empty field where you can draw your concept map with the help of these tools which are given in the second panel the first panel is of uh, options the editing bar and the second one contains all the tools which you can use to draw concept map so in the next slide i have just shown an example of concept map let's start with the hands on uh, give me 2 minutes i'll open the application Now, meanwhile, if uh, there is uh, any doubt or any question, uh, you can ask one how to download. Uh, that I'll uh, explain. PDF note is. So shall I start with the, the downloading of application because I have already downloaded this uh, application in my laptop. So I am starting with the with creating my mind map. Oh, sorry, uh, concept map. Uh, may I start with this? Downloading I have already explained, but I can show one more time if you have any doubt. This is the menu bar, which contains many options under the file option. These are very common uh, options which you, you usually use uh, whenever you use any application or any software. Uh, the second one is edit. In view option, you can also find many options to view your map. Uh, the formatting option is important for you. Here are many, uh, uh, format options for the nodes, yani for the main concept, for the font, for images, links, alignment, uh, arrangement, and uh, arrange link content. And the fourth, uh, fifth one is about content. Uh, with this, uh, you can add node to your concept map. You can add text to your concept map, the pathway feature, which uh, we have discussed during our presentation. And uh, next one is analysis, windows. Uh, again, an important uh, uh, feature for you. Uh, you can find many editing options, uh, many formatting options under this windows uh, option. So let's start. As we have discussed what is concept map, I am going to draw about the concept map, what is it, and how it is used in your teaching learning process. So let's start, we are, we are drawing our main concept with the help of this node option. What is concept map? It represents organized knowledge it is made up of linking words Now I have drawn three nodes in which 
first one is the main concept and the other two are the sub concept we will link these nodes with the help of relationships or the linking lines so you have to select the third option of lines the this first arrow button is the selection tool select the relationships in this manner you can draw you can draw drag the lines as long as you want and see a small box appears here we can write the linking word here now the information is clear that concept map represents organized knowledge concept maps made of linking words concept maps made of again we need a node here to select the node tool and draw to join with this linking line concept map made of concepts and these concepts are the these concepts are ideas and the concepts have hierarchy and the concepts also have links now we have to connect these two nodes with this sub concept so select the linking line you can draw two arrows for hierarchy and links and you can connect these two nodes with single arrow also so a concept have hierarchy the in this manner you can uh, connect these two concepts with a single line if you click anywhere in the uh, in this field in this blank area this linking word disappear and you can have a straight single line so let's move forward linking words hello ma'am ah yes sir uh, instead of words uh, can you insert any images yes sir pictures? we can insert images also yes yes sir uh, i'll show you how we can insert okay linking words are not labeled right click ma'am can we use the original also can we use Adil, what Adil. Uh, your voice is uh, breaking, ma'am. Uh, 
it's not clear to me what you are asking uh, can we use our regional can we use our regional la language oh uh, ma'am you can try yes i think we can i have never tried this but i request you to try once and then please see the chat box some questions are there sir i'll see ma'am let me complete this first i'll answer all your questions so here i have drawn a small concept map for you which explain what is a concept map so here you can see uh, some uh, main ideas which are connected with the linking lines so here it is not clear which is the main concept and which is the sub concept which we are explaining so uh, we can edit our concept map with the help of formatting tools which is available under the windows option and under windows option you can select the formatting palette suppose you want to uh, 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 you want to change the color of your main concept and you want to change the font size font style etc other formatting tools if you wish to use you can use through the formatting palette uh, now uh, i'll change the color of my main concept which is still in yellow color and with the help of this fill option i can choose any color of my choice uh, here i have uh, colored it as uh, mop color i can also change the font style and the font size by selecting it with the text option you can choose any font style arial black you can uh, change the size of font now it is clear that this thing that the first box is our main concept okay in a similar manner you can uh, edit your concept map uh, you can format your concept map and uh, you can close this from this uh, uh, cross button you can select your whole concept map by this selection tool you can expand it according to your need you can shrink your concept map if you want to make other linking lines and if you want to uh, draw your concept map in a more expandable form they can you, then you can add more sub concepts in the left or right side so you can expand or shrink your concept map this is the very uh, basic formatting options now you have asked that if we can insert any image to our concept map map sorry uh, yes we can wherever you want to insert any image you can select that node you can select that uh, box and just right click when you right click a uh, dialog box will appear which will ask what you want to add you want to add an image so you have to select this add image or file option now it will ask the location of your image you have to save all the images which you want to insert in your concept map suppose uh, i have saved one image on my desktop so that i can use it in my concept map and in uh, on desktop i now i'll search where it is uh this one new earth pick now uh, you can see here a small link gets inserted here if you click this link it will take to your image which you have inserted is it clear to you all can you see this image uh, priyakshi ma'am is it visible this image, image is yes yes it is visible yes, yes, ma'am not visible monica ma'am 
Uh, ma'am, you are showing the linking word and uh, let me share again. Yeah. I have inserted this image. Oh, I hope it's visible. Okay, thank you, it's visible now. So I have inserted this um, uh, Earth's image in my uh, concert map. And the process I have explained to you, I'll uh, tell you once again. Here I have inserted uh, one image in the linking word box. This box I have uh, selected, uh, I've right clicked like this. And here with the option of add image, I have inserted the earth's image in my concert map. In a similar manner, you can also add any image, any URL which you would wish to add and uh, uh, any notes if you want to add in your concert map, you can add many things. If you want to add some more notes to your uh, concert map here, uh, you want to add any PDF, any document, any um, uh, further information which you want to share with your students, you can again click here. Uh, on on any concept which you want to explain the right uh, uh, just right click here and select the add notes option <clears throat> with this option <clears throat> you can see one dialog box appears where you can add notes to your concept map like this. Now close it. You can see an icon of appears here in the shape of a pencil. Uh, and when you bring your cursor here, it will show you the notes which you have added to your node. Okay, I have written here my first concept map. So it is showing here. Uh, my first concept map, I think uh, uh, this is very uh, of a small font. I think it is clear to you. So like you can try many things, you can add uh, hyperlinks also to your concept map, you can uh, beautify your concept map with the help of formatting tools. There are many options here. Uh, I, and I, I would ask you, I would request you to install the virtual understanding environment in your laptops or PCs and try it. And if you face any problem, any difficulty, uh, you can ask. Yes, we can add PDF file also, ma'am. Uh, one question uh, here, Anand Babu sir have asked. Gulshan ma'am. Uh, yes ma'am. We can, um, Gulshan ma'am, we can take a break right now and we can come back after 10 minutes to continue this. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all of you, you can uh, try this app, you can try this software, and we can return within 10 minutes. We can take a tea break and we'll take all your queries after this tea break. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so basically, you can take 10 minutes uh, break for the tea and getting freshened up. And we can resume the session after 10 minutes at sharp 11.30. So please be with us uh, for the session and don't delay for joining the session.
also the attendance sheet has been shared already please mark your attendance uh, because it will be closed at 11:30 thank you to so join back at 11:30 thank you monica ma'am thanks nidhi hello madam hello